Hello and welcome to Do Yourself Illico Recipes. I'm John, I'm a flavor compounder, and today I want to share three ways to make your creams taste more rich and full. These are the ways included in this guide, and I will go over each one very quick. First, starting with vegetable glycerin. When using higher VG ratios, the vegetable glycerin will naturally add more texture and mouthfeel to the vapor produced. A lot of popular commercial cream e-liquids have usually a high VG ratio, around 80 or so percent, and called sometimes max VG flavors. So starting with the proper vegetable glycerin concentration is very important to get the best end result. A good ratio to use with creamy mixes is 70 to 80 percent. The ideal ratio is 80 percent, but some atomizers might have trouble using it properly, so if you vape at low temperatures, a 70% vegetable glycerin mix will be better. But in general, it's not recommended to go higher than 80% of vegetable glycerin, because you might have trouble with proper wicking on your cotton, since the juice will be too thick at that point. Next are flavor enhancements. Here are three of them that you can use to boost a certain type of profile with each one. Even though they're all good to use, I wouldn't recommend using all three at the same time unless they are the only creams in your recipe. The flavored meringue will add some smoothness and light sweetness. The French Vanilla 2 from Flavor Apprentice will add more complexity and darker side profiles to the cream, and the Vienna cream will add an extra layer of thickness and a touch of vanilla. Now depending on what you are after, you can experiment with adding them and the ratios depending how much of a boost you need on each profile. And last is blending and steeping. This one is in the guide because creams in general are very hard to blend and steep properly. Some of the aromas and ingredients that are used to make cream flavors are lighter than propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin and they have a natural tendency to want to separate inside the liquid. So when you are mixing with any creams, I would recommend blending them almost twice as long as your usual recipes, and same will go for steeping. They will need an average about twice as long to mature. With fruits being the standard and finishing in about a week, creams will need at best two weeks for best maturing and full liquid homogenization. Now, I know this video might seem a little short, but hopefully it gave you a better idea how to mix with creams and how to get the best out of them. If I can compile another three ways soon, I might make a part two on this topic. If you have any comments, let me know what you think or just say hello. And as always, I'll see you again next time.